And if there is a team that I cannot put my finger on leading up to this season, I feel like it's the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they won three games. It wouldn't surprise me if they won 11 games. Uh, Phillip Rivers is going to go out there. He's going to sling it around the park. Whether or not that works in Indy, we will find out. But as we said, uh, the number, Kenny, eight and a half. How do you think Phillip Rivers and these Indianapolis Colts will fare? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go over here. This is another guy, Frank Reich, that uh, knows how to overachieve. And uh, he's got a nice schedule to start with. You look there, Jacksonville, the Jets, the Bears, Cleveland, and Cincinnati, and Detroit. Six of the first seven against teams with losing records last year. I think the Colts get off to a great start. And I will say this, Jacoby Brissett had a very nice year last year. And his stats are maybe even a little bit better than Phillip Rivers. But Rivers had no offensive line. He is going to feel like he's in a palace with with this Colts offensive line, he'll have all day to throw. He will pick apart defenses, and his numbers will come back to what they used to be. I think he's going to be to be a three to four point upgrade at quarterback for the Colts. All right, BMAC, we have Kenny White emphatically talking about an overplay. So I feel like we'd be uh, out of line here fading that play, but got to get your pick here. Eight and a half is the number in Indy. I'm right there with Kenny. Uh, I agree. I think when you look at the personality of this football team, the DNA, it starts and stops with the offensive line. And like you said, Kenny, this is a a well put together offensive line. They have been able to be consistent and that will help Phillip Rivers out. But also, we don't need Phillip Rivers to throw the football around the football field. Just hand it to Marlon Mack. Just hand it to Jonathan Taylor. Allow these guys to put you in favorable third down situations and then you come out and thrive in those opportunities. And then defensively, DeForest Buckner, Justin Houston, this defense has drastically improved. And I think they will continue to do so throughout the year. I like the first four ball games they have. When you look at the second half of the season or the second four ball games, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Detroit, Baltimore, I mean, the only team you have to really be mindful of is the Baltimore Ravens in the second four ball. That's about it. That's about it. And so I, I like the start of the season in the first eight games. And then, of course, you got you have to weather the storm throughout the remaining eight ball games in the second half of the season. But because of the structure of their schedule and having an experienced quarterback with an outstanding line, maybe arguably the best offensive line that Phillip Rivers will play behind when you look at his professional career, I think that will provide opportunities for Phillip Rivers to take chances when need be, but also, too, having a reliable running game will be outstanding as well. So I go over. Yeah, leaning on that strong running game. It'll be exciting to watch how Indy trots out that offense. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.